Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. Surprisingly, patch 7.2 just hit the PTR servers, and with some of the changes, there's some stuff that you should and shouldn't do in preparation for it. So in this video, I'll show you five of those things. Keep in mind that this is very early on into the PTR, so any of this is subject to change. The patch could be months away, so definitely use your own judgment on when you should be doing this stuff. I'll have a pinned comment that I'll be updating if that is the case, so make sure you check that before doing any of this stuff just to be safe. Anyways, first is if you still haven't unlocked the Obliterum Forge and you're not in a huge rush, don't. Patch 7.2 is making it so everyone has the Obliterum Forge by default, so don't waste your gold buying those expensive bracers needed for it. If you're not in a huge rush, it's not really worth it to unlock it now if it's going to be free next patch. And related to this, if you're in the market for those bracers and they're a big money maker for you, sell them now because their price is going to crash even before 7.2 hits. The bracers are of course the imbued silk weave from tailoring, the demon steel from blacksmithing, and the dread leather and graven scale from leatherworking. Next is, and this is a case by case basis, is to save some artifact power if you're at 35 points spent and you're currently putting points into those small percentage increases. Once 7.2 hits, you'll be able to do a quest chain that unlocks more traits for your artifact. You're getting one major trait, which are the ones with the golden borders, three points for a utility trait, and one additional point in each of your minor traits. These are the small percentage increase traits that have 3 points each. In total, that's 15 new points. So instead of dumping your artifact power into those small percentage increases, which is probably what you're doing now, it'll be way more valuable to save them for the new traits. You can respec, but that's a lot of artifact power you'll be wasting since the respec cost is always equal to the cost of your next trait, which goes into the millions. It is a case by case basis though. 7.2 is probably a decent ways away, so use your own judgment. Maybe you only want to start saving once you reach a certain amount of points or when the release date is announced. This one is probably the most volatile because with the release of these new traits, they might say, hey, well, you know, people may want to respec and the cost is too high right now, so we're going to lower that or give them a free one. If they did that, it would make saving AP right now not really worth it, and it is definitely possible. But I thought it was still worthy of mentioning if that doesn't turn out to be the case. Another big one is that you should knock out part one of your Broken Isles Pathfinder achievement. Flying is coming to 7.2, but to unlock it, you'll need to complete both parts 1 and 2 of these achievements, and you can do part 1 now. It's pretty simple stuff, exploring zones, leveling reps, and so on. I'll have a link to this achievement in the description if you need some help completing it, and even a tool that tracks your progress if you don't know how far along you are. I also plan on covering it fully along with part 2 as soon as that hits the PTR, so keep an eye out for that if that interests you. And lastly is you probably want to sell your Chaos Crystals and any enchants now, and that's because all eye level 815 crafted gear is getting bumped to 835 with the same cost, and their quality is going from blue to purple. This should cause a huge increase in the supply of Chaos Crystals, causing the price to drop, and maybe even a shortage on Light Shards, bringing their price up. No guarantees on that one, though. The only hitch with this is that it's currently bugged on the PTR to where it crashes if I try to disenchant them, so I can't 100% confirm that they give a Chaos Crystal instead of a Light Light Shard now. But I would be surprised if they still give a Blue Shard, even though their quality is now purple. We'll see, though. But that's about it. Like I said, take all of these with a grain of salt because it's still really early on. And make sure you check the comments because I will be updating as more information is released and I'll be confirming or denying this stuff as the PTR progresses. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and peace.